quick cameo from the dog. Also, if you hear that music, that's just my dad. Yeah, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Life got in the way, school, you know, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, on to the thing we're actually doing. It's this. Also, yes, before you notice, before you ask questions, yes, I did get a new lighting system. It's awesome. Anyway, on to the mock. So, here we have a mock. As you can see, it is a clone attack on a, a droid base. Let me show you around. First off, we have my modified... Wait, what's that doing there? Hold on. Yeah. Oh, that ain't supposed to be there. Give me a second. Okay. That's solved. <laughs> anyway. So, this is my version of the AAT from 2020. That dumpster fire of a year. To more accurately represent the Clone Wars version. And I like it. I really do. Most of the mods you can make with just pieces from the set, but I've added a few things to make it a little bit more uh, detailed, we'll just say. I'm not going to go over the details here, but if you guys want to see a review of this set, I might already have it out, or it will be coming out in a little bit. And... Well, before we move on to the rest of the things, let me introduce you to Commander Shark. This is my friend Alex's sig fig. Oh, hold on, let's uh, get him all focused up over here. Let's get him uh, situated. This is Commander Shark. He is a Mandalorian synthesizer for the Republic. I'm using Boba Fett parts and parts from the Mando Battle Pack. As you can see, he uh, looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Also, the funny thing is, I couldn't find any other head lying around, so Clone Wars mauled would do fine. Don't ask how I got that, because you probably already know. Anyway, on to the thing. So, while we're here, let me show you this epic shot of... Slopes, bricks, pins, and I taking out a little push of battle droids, which we would be where the battle droids are right now. And I actually really like this little scene. It looks pretty cool. Now if we do a little bit of a rotation... As we can see, we have another push going on over here from my friend Caden, a.k.a. General Try. We got a 332nd Trooper, our Trooper pins, or plates, and then we have, oh, sorry for the hand, and then we have Officer Studs over here in the corner. Also, we have a Jet Trooper flying above. Yeah, I figured this would be a nice little scene to put here. I didn't have anything else to put there. And then in the middle, we have... Commander Shark, which, um, if you, before you ask, yeah, he is a big shark nerd, so that's why he was, or he's a big, uh, marine guy, or not the army, not the branch of the military, but, you know, you know, underwater stuff. He's a big fan of that. So, yeah, that's why he wanted to be called Commander Shark. Now, over here, we have a little push going into the door with three custom things that I've created for the 501st Troopers and Commander Shark himself. So let me show you what those are right now. Sorry, that took a little longer than expected. Let's get back on to the thing that we were actually doing. So, yeah, let me show you what those things are real quick, and then we'll uh, show you the interior of the building here. Alright, so here we have two troopers, but they have little riot shields, which I've made with literally three pieces. A jumper plate, that can be any color, a clear one by one brick, and a two by four tile. On to the next thing. 
Let me put these guys back real quick. On to the next thing, which is the mini gun boy. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, the mini gun can spin. I freaking love this thing. <laughs> and so does my friend Alex. Yes, he freaking loves this gun. It's so cool. I know it's not the best design in the world, but it, it looks really cool in my opinion. Anyway, now it's on to the interior. So-called interior. There's literally like just two things in there. Let me show you. We got well, the debris from the door back there. Of course, it's a Lego Star Wars mock, so you have to have... How did that happen? What? His feet fell off. Give me a minute. Gotta have a gonk droid. I mean, come on. It's a Lego Star Wars mock. Gotta have a gonk droid. And yes, yeah, so you can change up the face however you want. And if, if you want, you can change up the back however you want. This is my most simplistic form. Now I'm just gonna move him back to his jumper plate in here. And then this character, you will know more about later on. She is actually my girlfriend. I'm taken. <laughs> to all you uh, girl viewers who think I'm cute or whatever, already taken at the time I'm recording this video. <laughs> anyway, I'll put her back in the interior. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But I do want to um, show you guys something that isn't exactly related to Lego Star Wars. But if you guys didn't know, I am a fan of Transformers. Which you guys probably didn't know, but I am a fan of Transformers. And, well, if you come with me, this is my Transformers display. So here we have G1 Hot Rod in vehicle mode. Two monster trucks that I used to fill the space. G1 Optimus Prime. And, well, Starscream on a tower that I built just out with pieces. Yeah, hold on, I gotta go. Sorry about that, my dad called me down. Anyway, so you, you may see this cement block, which yes, it is very real. I got a little battle scar when I first broke it. Yes, I broke the darn thing. That's why it has that natural texture to it. This will be the display for a sound wave. He is my favorite transformer and he will always be my favorite transformer. He also comes with Laser Beacon Ravage, which is awesome. And yeah. Also, by the way, I have this guy and this guy. I'll explain those in a different video. But I mean, I could just see Soundwave just standing right there with Laser Beak on his shoulder and Ravage somewhere over here. That would be so freaking cool. Anyway, let's head now. Let's head up to the outro, shall we? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, hit the subscribe button. I don't do that. I don't ask for me. I ask for the algorithm. And we all know that the algorithm uh, has a few problems. So, yeah. Also, as I said, I might be doing a review of this set either after this comes out or... You may have already seen it. And I'm not going to be doing a review of the 501st Battle Pack because, well, that's in pieces. I will be doing a new video showing off all of LEGO Squad. And, yeah. Um, what else do I have to say here to get over 10 minutes? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually really excited for my Transformers thing. I've always loved Transformers. As I said, I always wanted a Soundwave because he's my favorite guy. He's my favorite uh, Decepticon. 
don't really have a favorite Autobot. And um, also, on I'm I'm recording this on Friday, but or no, sorry, I'm recording this on Wednesday, um, A.K.A. I don't wanna. Uh, so I'll I might be posting this on Sunday or Friday. If you if this comes out on Friday, well then I'm recording this on Wednesday. So on Saturday I will be watching. I think no yeah Friday I will be posting this on Friday maybe. On Friday, I will be watching Kong vs. Godzilla. I am on the team of Big Monkey Boy. I don't know that for the team of Man in a Big Lizard Suit. <laughs> I'm not for Team Chunkzilla. I am for Team Strong Kong. <laughs> and yeah, I might be doing a thoughts on that movie. I might be doing a thoughts video, like a vlog style video. And yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next one, which may be the AAT review. It may be some other mock video that I have planned at the moment. I'm not sure which, but again, for the algorithm, if you guys enjoyed, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the subscribe button. Again, I don't ask for me, I ask for the algorithm. Oh, man, I, sorry, I'm repeating myself. I know I do that a lot. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Later.